Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Today I wanted to share with you kind of a, an experiment, I guess, that I did. Um, and, you know, I don't know how practical it is, but it was kind of fun to figure out. And hopefully some of the steps that I went through to get to the end result will be useful to you. So, the backstory is I wanted to order um, a drum pad controller, one of those 4x4 grids that you use for inputting drum sounds or whatever. Um, and what I was thinking was I could use kind of the bottom two rows just for the drum sounds, but then the top two rows I could use for um, some chords. So what I wanted to do was say, okay, I've got a C major scale here, um, a C scale. What if I was able to use all the chords within that scale? So. So from C to C, eight chords, right? So this is how I went about doing that. First of all, I've got this chain, and you'll see why in a minute. I have a drum machine set up, and like I said, so I've got just drum sounds here, right? But then in the top two rows, I've got these set up for each chord. Okay, so. If I click on this one, you can see it's got a transposition map as the first thing. Okay, and what this is doing is it's letting me set the root chord as C, um, and then it transposes everything, in this case, to the first chord in the key of C, which is C. Okay, so it's just at this point outputting the one note, just a C. Okay. The next step is it goes into this multi-note and um, this is what gives me the actual chord. So you see it's got the root, then up four semitones, which is the E, and then up seven semitones, which is the G. So C, E, G, your basic C major chord, right? And then um, I kind of went through and I did the same thing for each of these pads. So the two minor um, if you're not familiar, uppercase Roman numerals are for major chords, lowercase Roman numerals for minor chords. So, same thing. On this one, I've got it in the key of C, but now it's up two semitones from that, which is going to be the D. Okay, so now it's just outputting the D note, goes into the multi note, which makes it into a D minor. You can see the only difference is that this is up three semitones instead of four giving me the minor chord. Um, so I kind of went through and did the same thing. Uh, one thing, I don't didn't have to do this all the way across, but it was easier than trying to figure out um, which chord needed to be transposed. I just did it for everything. Okay, so four, five, six. Um, seven is gonna be a seven, uh, seven, well, the B minor diminished. So got your minor here diminished because it's down one semitone from the, the fifth. I've got the chords coming out from here, which is great. The next thing I need to do then is I'm going to send all these notes up into my polysynth, or whatever synth I, need, I wanted to use. So I needed to be able to consolidate them all into one place. So that's what this note um, FX layer is for. It's taking each of those sources, so if I click on here, you can see each of these layers, all that it has in there is this note receiver. Okay, so this one is taking the signal from the multi-note one, which, if you look, is the, the name of this device right here. It's just taking the, the notes out of there and consolidating it right there. This one, the multi-note two. This one, the multi-note three, okay? So then if I play this, and you don't hear anything yet, but you can see that it's got signal. There's, it's going from the one into the one, the two into the two, three, three, all the way through. Okay, so that's all well and good. Next in the, in the chain is, I've got this note, pit, note pitch shifter, easy for me to say. And what this is doing is it allows me to transpose up or down an octave. Um, the neat thing about this is 
you remember I had all those in the key of C. If I wanted to play in a different key, say the key of D, all I would have to do is move this up however many semitones I need. So C, C sharp, D, up two semitones. So now I could play in the key of D with no problem. Okay, this isn't strictly necessary, but it's handy. Okay, so I've got all that. I've got my chords coming out, hopefully in the correct key with the correct pitches. The next thing I need to do is, before my synth here, I need to add a note receiver. And this note receiver is kind of the, the final step and it's coming from all the way at the end of this chain, this note pitch shifter, the very last thing in that chain. Okay, so once I do that, oh, have to select the right track. Finally, we can hear it coming out. Okay, so. Okay, that's all, all it is. Um, and then, like I said, Here's just a... Okay, so that's all it is. It's kind of complex, kind of a lot to it, but um, hopefully I didn't go too fast that it's um, <laughs> not too mind-boggling. Just quickly to review, the big thing is I've got it set up in a chain because you can't just take the output from the drum machine. You need to consolidate everything into one output source, I guess, for the other track, for your polysynth track or whatever synth you use. So I put it all into this chain, saved it. I've got my drum machine. Each pad for the chords has their own transposition map. They're all in the key of C, though. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to the one. Multi-note to create the chord. Note effects layer then is what consolidates everything into one source. This goes into, uh, not that, this goes into the note pitch shifter, which allows me to change key if I want, or change octaves even. And this finally is the output that is received by the note receiver in this track and goes into our polysynth or whatever synth I want to use. So, are there simpler ways to do that? Maybe, probably, but this is just kind of the way I was trying to figure it out in my mind as I was going through. Um, like I said, it's just kind of a little bit of a thought experiment, but hopefully that shows you some of the capabilities of some of these devices that we have available within Bitwig Studio and maybe you can adapt these to your own uses. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. Look forward to hearing from you guys every time. Um, and thanks again for watching. Talk to you next time.